In pre-calculus, we're going to talk a whole lot about the real numbers. So what are the real numbers? Well, let's start by looking at different types of real numbers, and we'll kind of build up the real numbers from there. So first we have natural numbers, and natural numbers are the ones that you might call the counting numbers, one, two, three, four, and so on. And we denote the natural numbers with this funny looking N symbol right here. And this notation, by the way, is set notation. So this says that the set of natural numbers is equal to, and then these are um, braces here indicating a set, and then it's the set of the numbers one, two, three, and these dots indicate that it just keeps going, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Next we have the integers. And the integers uh, we label with the letter Z, and those are the numbers that include, uh, well, the counting numbers and zero, and then we have the negatives of the counting numbers. And so this kind of goes off in both directions. Next we have rational numbers. And rational numbers we're going to represent with Q, and that's going to be the set of things that look like A divided by B, such that A and B belong to the set of integers and B is not equal to zero. So some of the notation that's involved in this. So when we have a set, we have set braces, and then this vertical bar here means such that. So you would read this as A divided by B such that, meaning like there's a condition, such that A and B belong to the set of integers. So this symbol right here means that A and B are an element of, or they belong to, the set of integers. And we have another condition, B cannot be zero. You can't divide by zero. So these are all the things that look like fractions where the denominator is not zero. And how about irrational numbers? Well, irrational numbers are just real numbers that are not rational. We don't have a special letter for irrational numbers. Uh, we just say that they're the real numbers that are not rational. So this sort of tells us what real numbers are. Real numbers include the rational numbers and the irrational numbers put together. It might not be obvious uh, if you're given a number whether it's uh, to determine whether it's a rational number or an irrational number. So, uh, for example, if you have a number like two thirds, okay, well, two thirds looks like a divided by b. The denominator is not zero, so this is pretty clear that this is a rational number. And the square root of four. Okay, well, the square root of four is the same thing as two. That's definitely rational, because I can write two as two over one. But what about something like the square root of three? Well, the square root of three cannot be written as a fraction. So this is actually irrational. How about pi? Well, pi, again, cannot be written as a fraction. You might have seen approximations where pi was written as a fraction, but pi itself is irrational. And then we have things like repeating decimals that may be something that looks like this, 0 0.313131 and so on, just repeating 313131 over and over and over again. And it turns out that if it repeats like this, then it can be written as a fraction. So this would be a rational number. But if it doesn't repeat, like we know pi can be written as a decimal as 3.313. One four one five nine, and then it keeps going and going and going, and it doesn't repeat. This is irrational. So now let's look at how the real numbers all fit together. So the real numbers we're going to denote with the letter R. That's a funny looking R right there. And let's see how all of these different types uh, make up the real numbers here. All these different types of numbers. So. You can imagine drawing one big box to represent all of the real numbers. So this box right here, that's the set of real numbers. And we're going to divide it. And we're going to divide it into two things. Rational numbers, which we saw are the things that can be written as a fraction, and irrational numbers. And irrational numbers are just things that are not rational. Okay, and we can further go on and divide the rational numbers. We know that some of the rational numbers, these are the things, remember, that can be written as a fraction. Um, some of these rational numbers can be written as a special kind of fraction. Those would be things with a denominator of 1. Those would be the integers. And then furthermore, we can go ahead and say the natural numbers are a subset of the integers. And this is how everything 
fits together to make up the set of real numbers.